you're 37. You're playing, like I said, uh, with opponents who are way too young. Uh, and to play that uh, intense and at the cadence of that many tournaments, it's super hard. Uh, what's your typical uh, fitness routine? Like you said, the 20-year-olds are obviously going to be faster, hungrier, better lung capacity, all of that. And I think as you get older, you just learn to train smarter. I think you have to be uh, a lot wiser with your uh, selection of tournaments because you can't do that crazy grind. And I play singles, so the load on the body is obviously far more. And now I just try and choose my tournaments a lot better. I work with a wonderful team that's always updating my program, whether it's my fitness, my nutrition, um, my coach. So I think it's also very important who you surround yourself with um, and who can help you optimize where you are at at that point in your career. Typically in off-season, on-season, could you just break down how your typical training routine looks like? So uh, for me, I bro I'll break it down in two parts. I think for me, um, while I was a junior, I took a lot for granted. I, uh, I depended a lot on my skill. I did work physically a little bit, but definitely not to the level that I've done in the last 10, 15 years. So in 2011, I, t I ended up tearing my ACL. And that was a very big turning point towards how I started approaching my game and, and training and all of that. So up until then, I took a lot for granted. I just assumed, okay, I'll, the way I did in the juniors will also be in the seniors. But when you're in the senior world, it's a shark's world out there because everyone's skillful, everyone's talented, everyone's incredibly hardworking. So how do you compete with that if you don't have the physicality? And after my surgery and and I, me wanting to come back again to play, I was like, I'm gonna be the best athlete in terms of the physical aspect, the mental aspect, and obviously even the squash aspect. And I think uh, I surrounded myself with a very good coach, fitness trainer, physio, and they helped me design a program which was a lot of uh, weight training, a uh, lot of squash, a uh, lot of fitness, running, plyos, everything. So I did about three, four hours, some days five hours based on what I was doing a day. I would split it up into three sessions. I'll take half a day off in the middle of the week. I take Sundays off. And you know, you're still, you're, so you're combining squash, fitness, gym throughout the week. And of course, when you're going for a tournament, you start tapering, so you don't, the load is not as much. Um, one week before, it's very light, a lot of squash, you know, light gym, maybe a little bit of run on court and stuff like that. But in the off season is when we had a couple of months to really push our bodies. So it would be a lot of heavy weight training, you know, just basically getting your body so prepped for the season that was coming up. Because when you're playing back-to-back -back tournaments, um, you're not able to push your body physically. So sometimes there can be a loss of muscle or, you know, just a dip in your form. And the summer training was just so crucial to be able to last the season. Yeah. What is the definition of food for you? What relationship you got with food? I mean, again, when I was younger, I took a lot for granted. I ate so much junk, so much chocolate. I mean, some days I still do when I'm, you know, but uh, of course- Chocolates are not that bad, they're still good. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what type of chocolate. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I obviously work with a, you know, a dietitian that really helps me stay focused or stay on track because it's, it's very tempting sometimes when you're at a buffet and, you know, the dessert counter is very tempting. Um, but I think I try and be a little bit more moderate uh, but also moderation doesn't work for me because uh, I have zero self-discipline and control. But is it also because you're burning so much and there is obviously a desire from the body to get more a calories? A little bit, yes, absolutely. But I also find that if you can train as hard as you want, but if your diet is not complementing that, you will not be physically the shape that you want to be at. And uh, I've learned that the hard way. And um, like, you know, like I said, as you get older, you have to be smarter with your food. Things sit on you for days. <laughs> And I'm just a little smarter with uh, my intake of anything that's not healthy. And are you still sticking with uh, being a vegan or do you move down from that? I've never been a vegan. So I what I do is, I, the, way I, the only way I get off junk food is like I'll take a vow and I, then I'll be like for two months like nothing. That's the only way because if I just tell myself, Joshna, no chocolate today, like that's not happening. Like five bars will happen after that. Right. So the only way for me to have the discipline to stay off chocolate is to take a vow. Yeah. So you said 2011 was a tough year for you, right? The ligament tear which happened, I think, was at Hamptons Open, uh, right? Yeah, wow, how right? do you know yeah, that? I do my work. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, I, I have to admit, I'm not a squash geek, but uh, I have to do, I have prep. So that happened. Uh, but in 2016 or 18, I don't know what year was that, you went on to beat uh, world number one, Nicole David. 
Uh, what did you do after that injury in particular to get to there? I, uh, I think after my surgery, a lot of people, you know, thought I was done. Uh, a lot of people actually told me, why don't you get into coaching? And But I just knew I had more left in me. And I knew that I wanted to play for India all over again, but this time I was going to do it right. And I trained really hard, like from the time Two weeks after my surgery, I was in the gym for almost five, six hours every day for years. Like I, I just realized that I, it was amazing to play sport, and I was not going to take my body for granted ever again. Like I had so much respect for what it had done for me and what it will do for me if I look after it, if I treat it right. And this was my time because I knew that this time in my life is not going to come back. I had to make the most of it. And I, more than that, I just appreciated that I had this opportunity again to, to play squash again. I don't want to look back and be like, I wish I did this, I wish I trained harder, I wish I did these things. So for me, from the time I was in rehab, I was like, I'm going to make the most of it every single day because I did not want to look back uh, ever. And I think that's what fueled me to get better and better because every day when I went to train, I gave it my 110%. And at the same time, I also enjoyed it. I enjoyed the pain. I enjoyed the beauty of pushing your body to crazy limits. And so for me, those wins really came after a lot of belief, a lot of work. Hi, this is Dilip. Thank you for listening and watching. These are interesting and useful clips from the broadcast we have with the guest. If you like it, please subscribe and share it with your friends.